I work with a major league player who turns really, really hard and can hit balls 440, 450 feet sometimes. But swing path, to me, it needs a lot of work. So he has to remember sometimes, in my opinion, that you don't have to hit the ball 440 feet. I would rather you lose a little bit of that feet and have a good bat path. Same on the other side. You can have a great bat path, and maybe they are swinging, they don't have a lot of power, and they're hitting singles all day. And you're like, that's great. Like, I have, don't have a problem with that. But to me, as they get older, like if I have a college player, a college softball player, for example, that's small, or a college baseball player, in my opinion, they have a lot more to tank. I've seen 5'9", 170 baseball players hit balls out of the park. I've seen power generated from those people. So it's possible. So I've got a player that has a decent swing, decent movements, but I want more power out of them. And so for me, I'm going to focus, the, the, the biggest focus I'm going to have is on their turn and on their hip and shoulder separation. I would tell you I have a major league player a few years ago that hit really well. Exit speed was 98, 99, which was awesome. And, but his hip movements was not really great. And I said, hey, you know what? I think this would really help you get some more power. I want you to, let's, let's, for the fun of it, let's play with some big hip, hip, uh, hip rotation, in and out. And so like I said, 95, 98 exit speed, 102, 103, 103, 104, just from that movement. So to me, I would work on hip rotation, hard turns, you know, really focusing on you know, their turns. You know, from, use Javier Baez as an example. Okay, this guy swings out of his shoes. Uh, he's having an incredible year. He has great swing movements across the board. But if you knew Javier Baez a few years ago, his swing movements were even bigger than they are now. He has calmed down some of that stuff. He's learned what does it take for him to kind of calm down the thing. So the same thing on the other end is, you know, how much can you focus on turning hard, hip separation, working on the hip rotation, working on, on his full torso rotation, really focusing on the things that turn. And for me, full turns, hip rotation, those are the two things that I would focus the most on in regards to power. And, you know, I would say our hitters work on turns every day, you know, whether it's with a bat holding it here in their swings or working on the finisher turn drill. And there's been plenty of times I've had college players hit a ball to the warning track, come back to the dog and go, I know, I know, if I finish my turn, that ball would have been out of here. They can feel it. Not they just know that I'm going to say it, but they can feel like, man, if I had finished my turn, that ball would have gotten out of this park. So hard turns, fast turns, and focusing on turnings, the full turn drill, half turn drill, separation drill, those are the ones I would really focus on. Mm -hmm.